What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial and this one is great. It's finally there, it's a new speed ramping tutorial for LumaFusion and it works perfectly, uh, nearly perfectly, but way better than the old tutorial I've made. So in order to understand what speed ramping is, I have to yeah, explain a little bit. Um, at first of all, I will show you an example from Final Cut 10, how speed ramping works there in order to get the transition to LumaFusion and show you what we can do get, to get a nearly as good result as in Final Cut 10. But before I have to explain you what speed ramps are. It's called speed ramps because we have one part of the clip which is slow or normal speed and then we have got another part at the end that has the same speed. And in between there's something which is not very interesting, we want to speed up. We could do simply a normal cut, but a more stylized version is a speed ramp. So we've got a um, ramp that goes faster, 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 fastest point there, and then slow, 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 again to normal speed. Unfortunately, LumaFusion doesn't give us the tools to do a normal ramp like this. So we have to do speed steps. So we have to begin with normal speed, then go faster, 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 fastest point there, and then slow, slow, slow at to normal speed. And this is what I'm going to show you. So let's jump into uh, Final Cut now. Bye. At first of all, I want to show you how speed ramping works on a computer, in this case a MacBook uh, and Final Cut Pro 10. We have the same clip life, like we have later in LumaFusion. It's a slow-mo clip with 25% speed. Nice shot, but nothing exciting. And now we want to speed ramp it, so we want a slow beginning. So we see this riding, so the type of the motorcycle, with a cut right here. It's shift B what you have to do to get uh, a speed cut. And then we want to see this exhaust pipe. And everything in between has to be faster, in this case eight times. And now what you see is the normal speed on the edges the blue eight times speed in the middle and gray areas in between. And these areas are the transition, the speed ramping. So they fluently go from 25% to 800% speed. Let's watch the result. So slow beginning, fast transition, slow end. That's what we want to get. And now we are jumping into LumaFusion. In LumaFusion we've got the same clip. Uh, we want to have a slow beginning, so we are setting a cut there, and a slow end. So a cut here. Okay, let's shorten this a bit to two seconds length. So we have two seconds slow, 7.x seconds fast, and two seconds slow again. And now we are setting a cut again at another two seconds, uh, one and a half seconds, sorry. So in this case, one second and 13 frames on both ends of the middle part, like this. And then we are setting a cut at one second of the slow parts. So right there and right there. And now we are starting to speed the cuts up. The first one to two seconds, the second one to four times uh, speed, and the middle one to six times, because it's the fastest we can get. Then again, four times, and at least again, two times speed. That's already pretty basic. 
Unfortunately, Luma Fusion doesn't give us the opportunity to go faster than uh, six times speed. Let's render that out. But we can go further more than this. We can achieve a much nicer transition between the speeds. If we add the normal speed clip of this clip, so the clip which has four times the speed than the, this clip, because this is slow motion, we are able to speed it up even more. So we have to cut out right the part in the middle, which is six times faster right now, to get exact the same uh, frame. But I'm doing it a bit faster right now, but you have to be very precise to get exactly the same clips. I would recommend overlaying them, but yeah, it's up to you. Then if we speed this up two times, it's eight times the speed of the slow-mo clip, so it's 800%. Now let's have a look. Okay, stop, stop, stop. The clip isn't deleted. So we'll just delete the six times speed clip. And now it's faster. <clears throat> but you can go even more crazy. So if you set more cuts and more individual speeds, like in this example, you get a nearly perfect result. And just copying the speeds I've used in there, and you get this result. So this is the final cut result, and this is the LumaFusion result. Looks pretty similar, except of the uh, shape reduction of a final cut, which is impossible to reproduce in LumaFusion. As I said in the beginning, I will show you a more easy way with a schematic drawing in this case. This all sounds very complicated, but it isn't. So to start easy, we've got the sample A and B, which are in this case the first normal speed part of the clip and the last normal speed part of the clip we've got before. So um, the, the riding of the type of the motorcycle and the exhaust. And then we've got a big part in between that has to be speed ramped, or in LumaFusion's case, speed stared stepped, whatever you want to call it. And now I show you how long you these cuts have to be and how fast you have to set the speed on each specific part or cut you've set. Sample A and B have the lengths you want them to be. So it depends on which clip you are sh using and what you want to show. So I can't tell you how long these clips have to be. And then there is this part. This part is the part of the clip you want to speed up or ramp in this case. And the ramps or steps are the parts between A and the fastest part of the clip right in the middle of the ramp. So in order to increase the speed slowly, you have to set cuts at half a second, half a second, one second, and one second. Then there's the part which is the fastest, we call C, and then again set one second, one second, half a second, half a second. And then at the speeds uh, mentioned above each bar. Once you've done this, the result should look pretty similar to this example. There we've also got the parts A, B and C and all the steps in between with the specific speed I've told you before. C is just very small because it's 16 times faster than the rest. Okay guys, I know that's not easy but I try to explain it as simple as possible, especially with the schematic view at the end. Um, I would recommend you to try this with one clip and then find your way through the whole process. And after that, try to repeat it with the same good result. And once you've managed to do this, 
you are able to uh, use it in your videos. And um, I think you have to watch this tutorial more than once to, to yeah, follow my instructions. But I hope you guys liked this video, so give thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to don't miss any video in future. I really try to give my best, so please honor this. And then see you next time, guys. Bye.